Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rebecca Jamir and I make food videos. Well, today I am here with another recipe. Today I am going to make irumba. So, irumba is a famous chutney in Manipur. This is the main ingredients for today. Luckily, I got this banana stem. And these are a few potatoes, tomato, green chili, and dry king chili. Well, I don't have fresh king chili, so I'm using this dry king chili. And of course, this ngari. I have already prepared this, so I will be, I'll be showing you how I prepared this. In this steel bowl, add this ngari, how much you want, it's up to you. I'm going to add a little bit of water here. Just three tablespoons of water is enough. Then cover it. This is rice. I have already filled it with water. Now I'm going to keep it inside this pressure cooker and cover it. So when the rice will cook, then ngari also it will cook properly. So that's how I use dry fish and ngari here in Gurgaon. So the rice is cooked properly. I'm going to take out this. See my ngari. We are going to use this ngari. Chalo guys, we will start cutting. So you have to remove everything, just the inside one you have to take. See this middle part? So this is the main thing we are going to use this one. So guys, cutting is done. Now you will add all the ingredients in this pressure cooker. Two cups, then add all this banana stem in pressure cooker. Then this potatoes, make sure to wash it. I've already washed it. Tomatoes. Well, I like to have lots of chilies, so green chilies. This king chili, I will not mix it here. We need more water. Don't forget to add the salt. So guys, all the ingredients are in this pressure cooker except this nari and dry king chili. And we'll wait for three whistles. After that, we'll remove everything and we'll start another process.
okay friends three whistles is over so we will let it cool down and after that we will check don't open as soon as you open the flame otherwise your cooker will blast <laughs> waiting for the reality i hope you don't disappoint me Everything is cooked properly. See the banana stem, the chili, even the potatoes. Now we will remove everything in a bowl. So guys, I have separated everything. Chili and tomato is here. This is the banana stem, potato, and this dry king chili. I have already soaked in hot water. So now it's already soaked. So these three ingredients I will pound it nicely. One of my Manipuri friends, she said like, "Irumba, you should mix it by hand." But as I'm scared a little bit. Because it will burn my hand. I'm not doing it by hand. I have seen her doing like they are mixing king chili, but still she is doing it by hand. Wow. Now I'm going to peel these potatoes. So now I have peeled all the potatoes. Now for this banana stem, I will squeeze it, squeeze it a bit, not too much. Then you have to shred it. Do the same process. Squeeze the water and shred it. So, guys, shredding is done. Now I will mix this banana stem and the potatoes. For this, I need a free space, so I'm using this one. Wow, it's coming out so nicely. I'm using this bamboo shoot. Actually, the Manipuris they don't use this type of bamboo shoot. It's a little bit bigger one they are using. As I don't have, I'm using this bamboo shoot. Now I will add mungari. Let me tell you that mungari don't add too much also because like it will make the irumba bitter and not too less also. So you have to check out the quantity. As I have used 12 the pieces of mungari, I'm going to add this half of it. I'll use this for another chutney. Mix it nicely. Now for the king chili, green chili and the tomatoes. For this, I'm not going to mix it by hand.
mix it very nicely. Everything should be mixed properly. I still remember like when I was small kid, my parents they used to take us in Manipuri water to have lunch or dinner. So we always eat this yoramba. That was one of my favorite chutney. Okay guys, this is erumba, rice and lauki boil. Oh my god. It's so awesome. Mmm. Really, it's so nice. Oh my god. Kali kauri mao sa kaiji. Aji kauri ni suna iron ba pushi pushi kawo. So guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the notification icon. So whenever I'm uploading a new video, you will get a notification. And those who have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it also. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.